SAFC is on the brink of greatness. Championship game Sunday night, the USL title on the line, Louisville City in town. We are joined by Connor Maloney, fullback with SAFC, scored last week. Connor, you ready for this? Welcome aboard. I'm ready. How are you guys doing? We're doing lovely. Take us through that goal, man. And like, how did you calm back down, come back to earth? Because you know, in soccer, that could have been the go- that oh, could have been the it goal. It was that last but, was uh, gravy. He won the game there late in the first. Yeah. Take us through that. Yeah, I so, saw. Um, you know, Carter recovered the ball, gave it to uh, Santi, and uh, I just kind of recycled my run in the box. Knew I had to get in there um, since Santi was out wide, and um, you know, the ball fell to me, and um, you know, I was composed and and hit it in the the left corner. So, um, you know, it was it was a culmination of things that had happened uh, during the play and um, I was just lucky enough to be in the box and um, you know, be right there for the goal. Um, It was, it was something special. It was my first league goal. Um, But I honestly didn't even know how to celebrate because I haven't scored in so long. (laughs) Uh, Was the intent to have you up there? Did you see an opening pregame for you to be in a position to get that? Yeah, and, uh, you know, Coach talked about, you know, trying to get runs in the box, trying to get numbers in there. And, um, you know, I, I saw myself in there and um, tried to be as composed as possible. And, you know, it brought me back to my college days at Penn State where, where I played for. So um, it was a special night. Um, honestly, these fans were, were something special. And we can't wait to have them Sunday cheering even louder. You're supposed to be practicing the celebration like all year long, Connor. Like you're supposed to have this ready, man. <laughs> I know. As, as a defender, you know, I I didn't really have many, but in the moment, I was like, I don't even know how to celebrate. I'm just gonna scream and and run to the corner and celebrate with my with my team. Yeah, so, you, you you've been um, there before. You you look like you'd made the celebration a bit. You had the slide. You had everything you, that was required. Uh, yeah, I, I was, me and my buddy at Penn State, we used to come up with a lot of goal celebrations, actually, and we had a couple of good ones. But, um, you know, in that, that moment, I just wanted to, you know, celebrate with my teammates and, you know, kind of act like I've been there before. Yeah, um, you. There was a lot, a lot left to play. Connor has been there an awful lot as we are joined by Connor Maloney, defensive back there with the with SAFC, though he got himself a goal this week, and it was Beautiful to see, man. It was desperately needed at the time. There was there hadn't been a more timely goal uh, for SAFC in a long time. And while we're talking about goals, I think the story of, of the team this year is going to be your defense. You guys' back lines are just utterly remarkable. Uh, watching you and, and, and trainer and, you know, all the, the work that goes on in front of the net, I think is just brilliant to see. Uh, talk about 33 real quick. How's his ankle? Yeah, he's doing well. Josh okay. is, you know, he's he's a tough player. Um, you know, he's but but our defense is, you know, it starts from the front all the way to the back. Uh, it's not just the back line. Everyone puts their body on the line for this team, and um, it really is truly something special because you don't see it very often when uh, you know forwards are, are making runs back, trying to block shots, and um, so we take pride in, in in our defense, and and that's why you see it all year long that you know we've gotten shutouts and. Um, you know, guys have stepped up even off the bench uh, when their name is called. They're just, you know, taking pride in the defense. And, you know, our defense then translates to offense. And that's why we've been so successful. What can you tell us about Louisville? What can we what can we expect from this team? And what do they bring that's going to give you guys a challenge? Yeah, Louisville is a great team. Um, you know, they've been to multiple, multiple finals, have multiple championships. And, and we respect that. And we respect that 100%. Um, you know, they're going to, they're a great team. They have great players. Uh, so it's going to be a fight. It's going to be, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. It's going to be one of the hardest games of your life. What do they do Um, that, what do they do that we should be looking for? Yeah, they have, they have a lot of experience and they have, they, they play it. They're, they do well on the ball. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, you know, their possession is, is great and, um, their movement is, is fantastic. And they're just a bunch of smart players and, um, you know, we got to we got to be ready for that because you know they've been there they've done it and you know this is our first time but you know we, we're ready we're we're ready to fight and i'm sure they are too so um it's going to be it's going to be difficult so how do you balance staying ready but also keeping your body fresh yeah no throughout the week i think it's it's 
taking in a lot of information through video, mm-hmm. um, a lot of tactics on the field. Um, so there's just a lot of information that you need to take. It's not much, as much physical. It's a little bit more mental um, and just taking in whatever we can because we've never seen them before uh, this year. And so, you know, it's a new team. They're, they're in the East. And so do a lot of film all week and, you know, just be prepared as much as we can. And, you know, Alan will have us ready. He is Connor Maloney, the fits back there with RSAFC. Got a goal last week. Part of one of the best defenses in in all the United States. I don't care what league you're in. It, it, it's just a – I imagine the coaches that play against you guys just marvel in what they see defensively because, you know, I, I think Jordan Farr is a beneficiary of a lot of help up front. Let's not kid ourselves. He's a glory boy. You know, he's got a lot of clean sheets. But it's you guys that do so much of the work. What's it like on a team like this? Because you've been around for a couple of years. You've been here to see this thing turn into what it is. How have we gotten here from when you got here three years ago, two years ago? Yeah, I think uh, the club has done a great job of recruiting the right guys um, to as players, but also as people. And when you have such great people in, in an organization, it all really comes together. Um, I think we've learned year over year, and now you see it finally being put together. You know, last year, we lost in the Western Conference Final. Now we, we've made it to the final. Um, so we've made, you know, leaps and bounds and – uh, they've recruited the right people and, and the right players to to fit this system. And when you have, you know, forwards coming back, defending, blocking shots, and them getting excited, um, you everyone just feeds off that energy. Um, so, you know, each guy brings something different, um, but the energy is is why we are so successful. And this club has done a great job of just recruiting the right people and the right players. Once that final whistle's gone and your is the off season started, what's going to be your first cheat meal and where? <laughs> uh, hey, you know what? I, I I don't I don't consider anything a cheat meal. If I'm hungry for something, I, I eat it. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of because mentally, that's that's how I feel. You know, I yeah. stay fresh, stay ready. Um, so you know, I'm not thinking about that right now. I know. I know. I know. That, that final <laughs> on our mind, and you know, that's that's all that I can think of right now because. You know, the, we put so much into this season um, and to come down to the final game, um, you know, we're going to be ready and we're going to be fresh and we're going to be flying. So uh, we're all just really excited to get it to get it going and uh, and ready for Sunday. Well, the tickets are hard to come by. But if you Man. can go, it is an electric, electric place to be. Toyota Field, Sunday night, 730 Louisville City in town, the USF. USL title on the line. That's right, San Antonio. We're bringing back a rec- a title. Uh, Connor, I don't know how the weekend is going to go, but I want to thank you guys for offering us a season that I'm never going to forget. I think back to the Austin win, uh, which was spectacular. Those roads that you were hitting back in the middle of July. What a wonderful season. Drink it in, Connor, and let's go get ourselves a, 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 a well a title ring. Let's get one. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I think you need to thank the club. The club has has made this all possible. To, to let us perform on this stage, and um, hopefully we can make this city proud. Go join the Crocketeers Thank getting you. that Good bunker. Luck, Cheer those guys on. It's going to be electric there on Sunday night if you have the wherewithal. Get there. Connor, thanks a lot. Congratulations on a great season. season. Let's go get us another title for that SA. Uh, well, SS and E, man. It's been a bit since they've yeah, gotten Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, Connor, good luck to you, man. Thanks, Stay Connor. healthy. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are uh, – trial members of the Crocketeers. We have scarves to prove it.